Hi there, my name is Glenn Monroe. I'm the owner of Brain Diesel. And in this video today, I want to show you how to do something that there's a feature deep in the guts of Excel that is hidden and there's no shortcut, no button for it. And you want to know where this thing is. So let me show you what the issue is. We have a simple feature called Merge and Center, and it's been there in our home ribbon forever, where you take a title like this and you hit Merge and Center, and it does that. And now when I click that one cell, you'll see that it's a one cell. If I use my down arrow, I'm in column C and boom, whole cell all combined. I can click and drag that down. I can copy that. I can paste it down here and it pastes it as a merge cell and independence. So it's a nice easy thing to do. And that was all this merge and center button. Uh, and when it pastes it, it pastes it merge. I can grab this range and hit delete to clear that out. But when I cleared it out, it cleared the contents, not the merging. This is why I want to show you this video. Because if I took this range here and wanted to copy it down, I get an annoying error message because you can't um, you can't do that to a merge cell. If I copy this merge cell, and if I go to paste it here so it overlaps and it's landing to hit the merge cell, you get again we can't do that to a merge cell. So merge cells are great, but frustrating too. Now, just to quickly close off merge cells, to unmerge it, you click the cell, let me get rid of the ants there. You click the cell that was merged, you click the merge and center again, now it's unmerged, and they have in the drop down, you can merge it across, where you've merged the cell but you haven't centered it, so that just saves you hitting an alignment key. Merge and center, or, so turn it off, merge and center, turn it off, and the merge cells um, is whatever your alignment was. If it was already right aligned, and then I were to merge cells, it keeps the alignment that you already had. That's what that third one is. And then we have unmerged cells. So those are the options we have, but what's missing is the one you want. And here's the one you want. You grab this range, you click on the Format Cells Launcher box, and on the Alignment tab, under Horizontal Alignment, you want Center Across Selection. And when I hit OK, boom, it's centered. And you can see that and as you look there's no vertical lines it looks like a merge cell but it isn't it is still the five separate cells it just behaves like a merge cell if i was going to widen this column no problem and you'll see it still centers across that selection if i insert columns in between or delete columns it adjusts accordingly from that range. No annoying pop-up from landing somewhere else. So that's the frustration solved. That's where to find the button. Now the problem is there is no button and there is no shortcut. So that's, this is going to be the end of this video. In previous videos I have shown you how to customize the quick access toolbar and how to create your own ribbon. And in a separate video I'm going to show you how to create a button to center that where a button doesn't exist. Thanks for watching. There's buttons to hit around here to do all kinds of things. And if you'll subscribe, I'd love to have that. Share this with other people too. Help me get the word out of stuff. And I'm going to keep giving you the best Excel tools I possibly can. Ask me questions. Let's see what I can answer for you too. Thanks for watching, everybody. And we'll see you in the next one.